But I'm here. This is Patil Tatunja. I'm coming to you from Yerevan, the capital of Armenia. I'm at Guinea Pig now. Just got my coffee. And I'm here with a bunch of cool people to go to one of the best restaurants in the world. Yes, in the world. So stay tuned. It was list uh, on Forbes list to be the best restaurant in 2021. So stay tuned. This is going to be a fun trip. We're going to take uh, Sirvart's car and go, but she's inside. So we'll see you guys on the road. We arrived after about an hour and a little bit of drive. I'm gonna include all the information of the restaurant in the description and like the location in case you guys wanna come visit too. We'll take you on a tour inside the restaurant. We're gonna order some different things so I can show you and we can try different um, food. We've heard that the ribs are good, so that's gonna definitely be on the menu. After taking you on a tour in the restaurant, I will also be taking you into that house which is where they actually bake their lavash um, the house itself is from the 18th century but there was actually a church there in the 11th century and they kept little like preserved little pieces of the walls that they found of the church they also found a coin of a queen from the 11th century so this is really cool we'll go in there also we're gonna do a lavash making master class so that's the house this is the restaurant let's go in I know I mentioned in the beginning of the video that Zagunk was actually listed as one of the best restaurants in the world in the Forbes list of 2021. So I will include the article link in the description as well. Okay, now let's go. This is our table. <laughs> and it begins. We got a salad with cheese, olives, dried tomatoes, and wait, what is that? Aveluk. Oh, it's aveluk? Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like aveluk. Mm. I will try with you guys. So I figured out why the aveluk didn't look like aveluk because it's actually wrapped into tulavash, which is a dried fruit um, bread. I guess is how we get. So I, I've never tried anything like this. I want to try it together. It's an interesting mix of. Ah ah, you tell them. <laughs> It's an interesting mix of um, taste. It's both sweet and sour, so it's interesting. I like it. Interesting in a good way? Absolutely. Okay. Perfect. Let's verify that information. I was not ready for you to be like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like the Averug part alone, and I couldn't. I don't know how to eat this. You to cut it. You need help. No. See you guys today, help. It's like, feed me the... <laughs> do you want me to feed you? <laughs> um, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> okay. 
Ja, sehr gut. So, keep in mind, have a look with Tutu Lavash. Must try. Merci. So we have the fried fish and the porks. We've been told by a friend that these ribs are the best thing she's had here, so we had to give it a shot. We'll let you know. Mmm, mmm. Like this. So that is the Lava uh, Masterclass that is taking on right now. If you guys are interested, just let them know ahead of time that that's something that you're interested in if you're planning to come to this restaurant. And um, here are two fun facts about the lavash. So lavash actually lasts for a long time because the um, ingredients of the dough is basically just water, salt and flour. So that's why it, it lasts for a long time. And the second fun fact that it's windy here. The second fun fact is that lavash is included in the UNESCO representative list of intangible heritage and culture of humanity. So here you are. I hope you really enjoy this and if you're interested in more about how lavash is made, actually there's a full video on that. Check it out somewhere here. And thank you so much for watching and hopefully you guys come and try this amazing restaurant. Like, share, subscribe, tell people we're almost at 6,000 subscribers. Yay! Watching now, love you guys so much. Bye!